okay, this is Nancy with Stonewall's Farm. Um, you've done the cast on video, you've done the knit video, you've done the purl video, and you got into a little bit of ribbing here. Well, what happens if this is all you're making? You know, like it's a little tiny doll blanket or something. This is all you're making and you want to be done. Well, you've probably already found out that if you just do this, oh dear, these stitches come undone. Okay, so how do we do this so that we can have, um, have the knitting not attached to the needles? Right? How do we hold those stitches? And this is called a cast off. And as with casting on, there are several different ways to do it. Um, and, oh, well, now that I took that, see, boo-boos, right? My working yarn needs to be coming off the pointy end, and I got it on there backwards. Um, so I'm just going to shift my stitches over to the other needle. And then we're just going to do a really simple, straightforward cast off. And those of you who do any crocheting, um, this will make probably make a lot of sense to you. Okay, and look, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, I got a stitch on there backwards. Turn that around. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to cast off. Well, let's see. I'm going to just do a knitting row because we're going to cast off. Um, knitting instead of casting off knit one purl one like we were doing with that rib. Um, that just has a lot of fluttering back and forth with your yarn that it kind of overwhelms our desire to just show what casting off is. So get to the predominantly knit side here. And I guess this is the review of uh, knitting, right? And uh, I suppose I should show you, this is continental. If I were gonna be knitting continental, this is what I'd do. Continental knitting is a lot faster than English, but I learned with English knitting. Well, that was dumb, I should have purled on that side. Anyway, okay, so we're just gonna cast off now. Knit one, knit another one, and then pull that first one over the second. So I got one needle, one loop on my working yarn. Knit another one. I got two on my working yarn, I mean on my working needle. Pull the first one over the second. Knit another one. Got two on the working needle. Okay, so as I'm casting off, I shouldn't end up with three stitches over here, right? I should just have, every time I have two stitches, that first stitch gets pulled off and over. And of course, if you're, if you're strangling every stitch, you know, just jerking it really tight, this gets hard to do. Be nice to your yarn. It doesn't like to be stretched and grabbed and stuff. Um... And, and that's all about gauge and not to mention your personal stress of the day. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's keeping the needles, keeping the stitches snug, not tight. Okay. Now there's the last one. Okay. So what do I do now? Uh, dun, 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 dun. It's time to cut. Hang on. I got to grab some scissors. It's time to cut this ink and you know you leave enough here because you want to be able to stick it in a tapestry needle and thread it back through your yarn so it it gets hidden away but there you are there you are cast on is a little bit stretchier than the cast off um, cast off like this makes really firm shoulders on a sweater um, it gives a lot of stability to the knitting, whereas stretchy things can stretch out. So there you go. We have done cast on, knitting, knitting and purling, knitting and purling to make rib stitches, 
and then cast off. And there you go. Thanks so much. Bye.